All right, who wants to talk about taxes? Nobody, right? Well, you are the lucky one because today you have to because not only do you have to watch this video, but you're going to have to do homework based on taxes. So I'm sorry, but it's very important for you to understand taxes for financial literacy. Um, just so you know, regardless of how you get paid, you have to pay taxes. It's the law, right? Out of every dollar you earn, you have to pay taxes on that. So going through, and that's why in a previous video we talked about gross pay versus net pay. So I've got a good definition here. Gross pay is what you earn, whether by salary, hourly wage, piecemeal, or commission. It is what you begin with or your income. Okay. Net pay or take-home pay is what you really earn. You like that? after the government has taken its cut of your income. So think of it like you're out fishing. Anybody here like to fish? I love to fish. I'm a fly fisherman. But I've always wanted to go up to Alaska and do those big fishing operations. You know, there's shows on TV showing how dangerous it is. But they cast these big nets into the ocean. Okay? So gross would be the ocean, right? You can get as much as you want from there. But once the net comes up, that's all you get. So that's your net pay. So think of that with your paycheck. The gross is how much you've earned, but once you pay your taxes and the net comes back, this is how much you take home. Does that make it a little bit easier to understand? So first of all, let's talk about federal withholding tax. Now, this varies depending on how much you earn in a year. So I pulled up on my screen here the federal tax brackets and I'll just tell them to you so you guys don't have to worry about looking at them. So if you earn between zero dollars and nine thousand seventy five then currently as of 2014 and this can change but right now your tax bracket is 10 percent federal. If you earn between nine thousand seventy five to thirty six thousand nine hundred your tax bracket is fifteen percent. If you earn between $36,900 and $89,350, your federal is 25%. If you earn between $89,350 and $186,350, 28% of that check goes to federal. If you earn between $186,350 and $405,100, your tax bracket is 33%. If you be to earn between $405,100 and $406,750, 35% goes towards taxes. If you earn between $406,750 and above that, then 39.6% of your paycheck goes towards federal taxes. It's a lot of money. Your hard-earned money. But what does that go towards? That's the thing that you need to understand. Those taxes pay for the running of government, right? That goes towards infrastructure. Now, what is infrastructure? That would be on the federal level. That would be federal highways. That would be anything that the federal government controls that way. Uh, the army. Anyone paid by the government is getting paid through taxes, okay? So it makes that real easy. I live in the state of Utah. And in Utah the tax bracket is 5%. So anything you make over $0, you pay 5% taxes on top of that. So if you are at the top tax bracket, let's just say you earn between 405,406 and you're at 35%, that means you're also paying 5% to the state of Utah. And so you're at 40%. So you can see why taxes are such a heavy burden and people go through and they use an accountant to do write-offs. So to go through, obviously you pay those to the IRS. April 15th is tax day. That's why you probably see your parents, your neighbors, or your friends stressing out, trying to make sure their taxes are done. You can do extensions um, and goes through that way. So we've talked about the federal tax. We've talked about in the state of Utah, the 5%. Now you also have, and let's look this up together, property taxes. In the state of Utah, you have, when you own a home, 
you have to pay taxes on that land. So let's look up property taxes in the state of Utah. And let's look up Utah County to make it real easy. Okay? So it's amazing what you can Google nowadays. Okay? So you get taxed on real property. So let's look up here tax rate schedule for 2014. Now a portion of this goes through, okay? And the taxes vary depending on what your home's worth. And then a portion of it goes towards paying. In fact, in my area where I live, most of my property tax goes towards paying for schools. So once again, remember how your sales tax goes towards paying for things within a city, in a county, and state. Your federal income tax goes towards paying the bills that the federal government has. Property tax goes towards cities, counties, states, but it also most of it goes towards paying for the schools, at least where I live, uh, that's where the money goes towards. So if you need to build a new school, property taxes either go up or they have to find a way to make sure the money suffices for that or the government comes in and helps out on the state level. Um, you need to understand FICA, F-I-C-A. This acronym stands for Federal Insurance Contribution Act and is the first of several federally imposed payroll taxes. So some people call it double dip because not only have you already paid federal income tax, but then you're also going to pay about 6.2% for Social Security. But you also have to pay for Medicare, which is 1.45%. And then your employer matches that. So just because we talked about the 35% and then the 5% for Utah, but you're also talking roughly 7.65 going towards Social Security and going towards Medicare. So there's even more money going out there. Okay. Then your employer, they'll pay for unemployment uh, taxes, but that's something your employer will take care of. But you need to understand that if ever you lose your job, that there is unemployment tax being paid that you can gain unemployment. Now I know each and every single one of you are hard workers and instead of waiting for an unemployment check you're gonna go out and you're gonna find another job and you're gonna make sure that you're working hard whether it be two jobs or three jobs to make sure you support your family in the future. So those are the big ones. So let's go through and talk about let's say grab my trusty pen here let's say you get a weekly paycheck and that weekly paycheck is 800 make up some numbers here 846 dollars and 15 cents okay so let's go through and add this up real fast okay so your federal withholding is gonna be twenty one dollars and fifty cents if your state is only three point oh seven then that's gonna be twenty five dollars and ninety eight cents okay then your county say it's one point six five that'll be thirteen ninety six then you have your FICA the 6.2 and the 1.45, we talked about that, Social Security and Medicaid. So 5246, 1227, okay? So, and then your unemployment insurance is 76 cents. So you're looking at the fact that out of your 846.15, you're losing $126.93. So your net pay, remember, gross versus net, the fish, how many you actually get, is $719.22. And that's if on your uh, W-4, you can do exemptions. So how many kids you have, if you're married. Okay, so let's say you only have two exemptions. Then you'd actually have to pay more taxes. More exemptions you have, less taxes you pay. Because they assume you need more money to pay for a larger family, right? So when you're single, you're going to pay more taxes than I do with my three children and wife. Because the government understands the more children you have, you need to be able to pay for those, right? There's food and clothing and, and necessities that you have throughout any given day that you have to pay for. So the employer also, just so you guys know, they pay extra on it as well. So if you're self-employed, then your taxes will go up that way as well. All right, I know that was such a fun topic, but you need to understand that just because you earn $1,000, that's your gross. Doesn't mean you're gonna be taking it home. 
In fact, I remember when I went from self-employed and now I work for the bank. And at the bank, I'm paid W-2, meaning the tax, taxes get taken out when I receive a paycheck. As opposed to when you're self-employed, you put the taxes aside into a bank account and then you pay them on a quarterly, a monthly, or a yearly basis depending on what your accountant and what kind of business and so on and so forth. Um, but for the sake of what we're talking about and the type of jobs most of you are going to do for right now is W-2. So always make sure you understand that when you're getting a job that, once again, to go back here, we talked about your tax brackets. If you earn anywhere from $9,075 a year to $36,900, 15% of that goes towards federal. Okay, 5%, if you live in Utah, goes towards the state. So that means 20% right off the bat goes there. Then you also have your FICAs, right? And we talked about what those were. So that's another 7.65, okay? So we're currently sitting here. So 27.65 automatically goes out. So if you've earned $1,000 and $276.50 goes away, don't plan on being able to spend $1,000 a month because you'd be wrong. So let's do that quick math real fast. 1,000 minus $276.50. That means you only take home your net would be $723.50. And if you pay your tithing, the 10% off of what you earned, your gross, that's an automatic $100 off. So you're really, so you're paying $100 off of the thousand. So minus 100, so that gives you $623.50. So when you're getting a job, make sure you understand exactly what all is entailed there. And we're not even talking yet if you have life insurance off your check, if you have medical insurance, dental insurance, vision insurance. Are you taking money out of every paycheck and putting it towards retirement? Okay. These are all things you need to look at when you're discussing with your spouse or just yourself, whatever it may be, and you're looking at getting a new job. Someone may offer you, hey, I know I need to make, we're starting out new, right? My bills are low. So let's say I need 5000 a month, okay? Well, if I need $5,000 a month to pay all my bills, let's look at that, okay? So I need that. Well, if my taxes, like we talked about, are going to be 27.65, let's do the math, 5,000 divided by 0 0.27.65. That means I'm going to spend $1,382.50 in taxes. Okay, so instead of needing to make 5000 I know I need to make $6,382.50, roughly. Okay, we're just doing some reverse math here. So that's just a rough number. So if I earn that much, then you take that down, right, minus your taxes, and then you have your tithing, right? So to make 5000 you're going to need to make about $7,000 a month so let's take that 7,000 times 0.2765. So that's 1935 in taxes you pay. 1935.50. So 7 minus 1935.50 leaves you with 5,064. And then you're going to minus 700 for tithing. So you're actually only making 4,364. See how that all works out? And once again, I'm not including the fact that we need to have dental insurance and medical and all of that. So when you're looking at a job, you know how much you need to pay your bills. Do the math. Take the time to do it right. You also have to look at uh, making sure that all those taxes and the FICA and everything is taken out. If you're buying a home, make sure you understand the true cost because property tax is included in that. So thanks so much.